the existence of a self, that is, having a self, is not a problem any more than breathing or sleeping or waking is a problem. There's a concept that we should transcend ourselves, or erase ourselves, or somehow annihilate ourselves, but this is not the case. The body is designed to breathe, the legs to walk, the arms to reach out, the eyes to see, and the body-mind-spirit is designed, it's programmed to create a self. Let's just realize that the universe never made a mistake creating cells over and over again. Galaxy cells, planet cells, rock cells, tree cells, human cells. Everything has a self. The secret is how are we going to relate to that self? What are we going to do with it? What do we believe the self is? And how can we use it to connect to all, to other people, to nature, to the world, to our most authentic self. It hasn't yet occurred to us that the ego, when healed, will find its rightful place in our body. The way our hands and feet, eyes and lips find their own place as well. The personal ego is still allowed to exist. We have not negated it, but we've begun the process of healing it, seeing it for what it is, a pinwheel of beauty shooting out sparks of individuality in an immeasurable and unified universe.